Hey guys, it's me, Panzo6, and this time I have some gameplay for Rise of the Tomb Raider for Xbox One. came out last holiday season. Uh, it was with a bunch of other games like Call of Duty and had a lot of competition going for it. But surprisingly enough, apparently it sold well enough to warrant another sequel down the road. As well, apparently Xbox One thought it did great and Square Enix. Uh, now, there's a little bit of controversy when this title was first announced as an Xbox One slash PC exclusive and later coming to the PlayStation 4, but she didn't really find that tidbit out until later on after the announcement. And it kind of pissed off a lot of people, but Sony also did two with Street Fighter V, and I'm sure there's other ones. But let's not talk about that. Let's actually talk about the game. Uh, if you guys are familiar with Tomb Raider Reboot that came out, I think it was like three years ago. Um, it was a new fresh take on Laura Croft. Um, she was a whole lot more uh, agile. She didn't really know what she was doing, and she pretty much was learning everything as she goes. Um, it's a different side of Laura than we've seen. She wasn't like um, gigantic tits, uh, walking around with two uh, pistols. Um, it wasn't that kind of game. It was a whole lot more serious. And the story was actually really good, as well as the graphics, the gameplay, and all worked. It was actually a surprise hit when it came out. Um, it was very, very similar to... Um, I would say Uncharted, but Uncharted was very, pretty much like Metal Tomb Raider. But um, it's actually really good. Um, this is a sequel that takes place, I think, two years after the first game. And it puts Laura looking for something called the Divine Source. So I'm not going to give any spoilers, so you guys can go ahead and play it yourselves. Um, and tell me what you think about in the comments. But I just want to kind of give you, let you guys see some gameplay of what the game's like. Um, it, again, it's very similar to the last game. This time they added more dungeons, well, not dungeons, not dungeons, tombs. <laughs> but um, it's really good. I finally finished the game. Uh, it takes about 12, 14 hours for uh, the main uh, story. You cannot extend that if you, you know, do all the side quests as well as the tombs, which I'm going back right now and finishing that. I ha actually have Quantum Bay Break to work on, so you'll see some footage of that here soon. Um, but yeah, it's really good. If you have an Xbox One, uh, I highly recommend it. If you have it on PC, get it on PC. Or once the, the Definitive Edition comes out for PlayStation 4, go ahead and hop in that. The graphics are gorgeous. I'd say it's probably the best looking game so far on the Xbox One. Um, and then even on PC, it looks amazing. Um, it runs smooth, the crafting system's fine, the gunplay, the weapons, uh, everything's fine. The only thing I don't like is the microtransactions. You can buy these cards, and you can also earn um, points uh, to buy these cards that give um, things to. Uh, um, Laura like big head mode basically cheat codes but you get cars and but you have the option to spend money on these things which I don't think it should be in this game I don't see a reason for it um, but microtransactions seem to be um, a way this industry is trying to fuck it so <laughs> but guys um, if you guys like this be sure to hit like and subscribe check out my previous uh, video from earlier today about console upgrades and VR. Again, I love you guys. Also, be sure to check out my GoFundMe at gofundme.com forward slash bits and pieces, and you can check out what a kind of project I'm trying to work work on and make uh, make happen. But guys, I love you. Hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.
It looks like we've got the upper hand. Good work. Those choppers should be in range soon. My father is missing. Last night, I told him of the invaders and the weapons they have at their disposal. When the sun rose, he was gone. Cyril told me he would be back, but the day is almost done and no one has seen him. I fear he may have done something rash, the old fool. We need him. At this moment, more than ever. Beneath. Damn! Just hold on! I'm on my way! We're heading into the catacombs. Get some back up here. Got it. On our way. Why don't we just drop this? She's here! You're damn right I am. Hold this position! Put him around!
Hostile spotted! Jacob. They're gone. I fear this battle is far from over. Will you tell me more about this place? You've earned that much. Come with me. In ancient times, our prophet brought the divine source to this valley. My ancestors built the test to protect it from the outside world. To what end? What is the divine source, Jacob? An artifact from a time long forgotten. We believe it holds a fragment of God's soul. Legend tells us those who beheld the source were granted immortality. But others have always been drawn here, seeking its power. Trinity. Yes. They seek to spread their darkness across the world. With the source, their soldiers would be unstoppable. Then help me find it before they do. This is not your burden. Of course it is. My father died for this. You can't fill the emptiness inside you, Lara. You can only set it free. I'm gonna find it. With or without you. Wait, Sophia, let me go. I have to do what I can. You spilt blood for us. I want to help. You know where the Atlas is? The cathedral, in the archives below. But we won't follow you there. Why? What will I find? There are others. The deathless ones. They will kill any who trespass. My father believes they will stop Trinity. You can't take that chance. I know. Here, take this. It will help you reach the cathedral. <laughs> 